Cobes did a weird, a weird shirtless stream uh, called "I'm Sick of Mass Shootings," where he discusses the uh, the Appalachian high school shooting, and uh, he just gives like a very general like take. I'm gonna listen to like a minute of it. What is up, fellow YouTubers? It's your favorite YouTuber, King Cobra, back at it with another video. I got a brand new phone. What the fuck is with his beard? It's like he's, it's like he's taken, you know how they like carve hedges into like giraffes and shit? It's like he's very deliberately carved his, his beard into a ball sack. So it looks like he has these big brown nuts swinging off his chin. It's actually really gross. And just working on getting it set up. I had to reset my iTunes password. So it is what it is. I don't mind having to like reset my iTunes password, but we're not here to talk about that. First, let me grab a sip of my peanut butter cobra. This drink combo is exquisite. YouTube screwball peanut butter whiskey with a splash of and I thought we were talking about a school shooting here, Cobes. Delightful. Okay, here I'm we go. so tired of all these goddamn mass shootings. I'm not going to mention the fucking asshole's name, but he had a fucked up childhood and he got bullied in school. See, when I was in ninth grade, I was getting rejected by every chick that I've liked. <laughs> Dude, that's hot. That's a hot take. When I when I was in school, I got rejected by bitches. I would have fucking shot them up too if I had the chance. No, no, I don't know. If that's the take you want to make, Cobes. Rejected by every chick I've liked since the fourth grade. It is what it is. I've been bullied mercilessly, nonstop since the fourth grade, and I continue to get bullied nonstop. However, there is a solution to this, and that's called learning how to throw a fucking punch. <laughs> I mean, if you're advocating violence, that's not a good take. Like, if you if you are good and bully, what you should do is you should learn to defend yourself with violence. Um, um, um probably not a good idea, Cobes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been bullied since I was in fourth grade, and I continue to get bullied nonstop. And we examine the uh, the uh, situation here. The the mass shooter was, of course, white, had an AR-15, got bullied in school. His mom was a meth head, and his dad, you know, let him have access to guns. Although I don't think guns are the problem, YouTube. I Base think codes. people are the problem. In this instance, by the way, I forgot about this, but the um the he had posted shit like on TikTok or online that scared people, and then he got reported to the police, and the FBI literally knocked on this guy's door, his dad's door, and told him, "Hey, your kid is going on the internet and telling people that he wants to kill people and that he has access to your guns. Um, we don't have like we can't like force you to do anything, but." You should probably do something. And he didn't do anything. And now people are dead because of it. So I don't know. I'm really, I'm really like reluctant to ever give people an inch when it comes to guns and shit. But it kind of feels like if you have a teen boy, and especially if he's like at that age, and especially if he's troubled, <laughs> you probably should lock up the guns. Because I think not having immediate access to an a AR 15. Uh, for a, a retard 14-year-old boy, it might be enough. Because I know that even, um, even like, I've seen these ads for veterans. And the veterans come on and say, if you, if you have PTSD, make sure you keep your gun locked up. It may sound silly, but the extra second unlocking the gun safe might give you pause to think about what you're doing. So it seems to be that, like, with suicide and even mass murder, like, just adding an extra step to acquire the firearm required to blow your own brains out is, like, just enough where your brain goes, like, wait a second, I don't actually want to kill myself. Um, I'm not sure if that's true or not. I would be interested in seeing information 
regarding school shooters and their access to firearms? Like, did any of them, and if so, how, how many of them, overcame even rudimentary challenges in acquiring a firearm? Like, how many of them woke up one day and then got a gun out of the cabinet and then killed a bunch of people versus how many people actively conspired to collect firearms and munitions and then uh, stow them away and then use them later, you know? <clears throat> so. Mass shootings are a moment of psychotic violence. It does seem that way. I mean, if it's that simple, where it's like you have to have a gun safe... It kind of pains me to say that I might be okay with that chat, but if it if it was effective, then and if it didn't infringe on your actual ownership of guns, if it, even if it was like specifically like if you have a child or mentally disturbed person, you know, someone who has either like a felony or or psychiatric, someone who can't legally own a gun on their own, which would include both felons, uh, psychiatric patients, and children. And then you say, if you have someone living in your house who cannot legally own a gun, then you have to have a gun safe. And if we knew that that actually worked, then I can't really... If it works, it works. You should have to... Yeah. I can I can see giving an inch on this. I can I could, could sneed. It's a matter of if it's a... Because a lot of gun regulation is not effective. It's like, oh, California says you can have an you can have like a ten round magazine or something, and it's like that's not effective. Or you can't own a silencer, like that's not effective. <laughs> you don't need a silencer to kill people. Or you can't have this. You can't have you can't have a bump stock. Like, well, is that really effective? And that, but if if it, in regards to stopping like kids from having like a like a meltdown, if that's effective. Bad take. Good take. Exactly, Spark. No guns opinion. Um, sir? All oh, right. Well, right now. Legally, though. <laughs> you just wait. Selectively enforced, of course. I don't know. I'm just saying. It's kind of scary to be American. Go to school, get shot. Okay, then he sang a song for the victims. So I think that this is the song. If you like the the song, hit the like. Hear that chat if you like the song. Here we go. Oh fuck yeah. He's waiting patiently for his time to drop. How fucking long is this intro? Oh my god. Wait, he's not even singing. He's playing a, re a recording of him singing. Yeah, he's not in the long, like, yeah, I, I got it. Love this. Nailed it. This was the best. <laughs> they don't get paid enough for that part. <laughs> we okay. Listen, how about this? I've got an idea. Abolish all mandatory schooling as it is. Make Prussian-style military schools a mandatory part of all children's entertainment. All of them must serve the state and must go through military education. This way, your teachers are heavily armed combat veterans who have the ability to take down any potential threat. Then then we've solved school shootings, because every teacher there is going to have a fucking uh, a 1911 on them. 
Okay, is this we could do that? That would solve it pretty pretty quickly. <laughs> Wait, hold up. I think we need some music for it. <laughs> All I'm saying, bring back the Prussian system. We're gonna have a better nation. We're gonna get along. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!